So in the definition of p-value, in fact, if you see the exact definition of p-value, it's a probability of the observed result plus even more extreme result if the null hypothesis is true. So all we said is the salary of men and women differs more than the p-value is 0 0.03 and simply reject the null hypothesis. Okay. Now we get into correlation. I wanted to ask you a few questions. We'll have some interesting examples, okay? That is, you can find a relationship between two variables. Yes or no? Now the temperature versus time of the day, is there a relationship or not? Of course, there is a relationship. Now, how strongly they are related? Suppose if I start from 6 o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock in the afternoon, the temperature of the ambient versus the time, how strongly it is correlated. Very strongly it increases, right? And what correlation is it? Is it positive or negative correlation? That is, the time increases, the temperature increases. Is it positive or negative? Positive from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock, right? Because if time increases, 7 o'clock, temperature is more. 8 o'clock, temperature is further more. 9 o'clock, the temperature is further more. 10 o'clock, the temperature is further more. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, peak. Now, from 12 o'clock to evening 6 o'clock or evening 9 o'clock, is it correlated? Yes or no? First answer whether it is correlated, yes or no? Yeah. But then, now what happens if the time increases, the temperature decreases or increases? 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Decreases, decreases. Okay, now we all know that the type of correlation depends upon the location also that we are in, right? Do you think whatever is in Arctic and Antarctic regions will be the same as what is there in equatorial regions? Is the correlation, would it be the same? The strength of the correlation? No, it will not be the same. Okay. So now that we have understood that there is a correlation and the correlation is not same all over the world. It can be different in different places. But I want to warn you, when we compare it to variables, correlation does not mean causation. Let me help you with an example. Suppose, imagine there is a city. In that city, I observe that in the year 2000, there were 10 temples or churches. I'll take the example of churches, okay? And there are 10 bars also. In the year 2001, there were 20 churches and there were 20 bars. In the year 2003, there are 30 churches and 30 bars. And in the year 2004, there are 40 churches. Number of churches also increased and number of bars also increased. Now my question is, is the number of churches built is correlated to number of bars that is coming up? This is what all of you please type in your notebook, correlation does not mean causation.